Hi guys, this is Leela. <coughs> Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in this video, in the previous video, what we have did it when we click on the delete model. So these all the things are working fine. Now my requirement is so when I click outside, outside of this model, then also this model pop up has to close. And also if I click escape in the keyboard button, the keyboard button escape key, when I press that escape key also, then also this model model pop up has to close. So let's try to do implement these two scenarios in our model pop-up. So now what we need to do here, so this is our delete model, right? Now when I click on the, first we'll do the key event listener. So when I click on this model thing, key up listener, so now we need to implement the escape key is pressed means we need to close the pop-up. So for this one, what we need to do is so on mounted, we need to take the life cycle hooks on mounted and in this on mounted, I will create document dot add event listener of key up. Okay. So I want to listen to the key up and here you will get an event and let's see what could be the event here. Console dot log of event. This is the event. Let's see what could be the output for this event. If I go into this one and if I refresh this page and if I click on this delete, and here what we need to do key up right so if i click on the escape we are able to get a keyboard event right so whatever the keyboard you keyboard you are trying to press so you'll be able to get an event but we need to have an escape right so you can take the key what is the key it has been pressed and the key code associated to this one so we can take the key escape when this escape has been pressed i want to close this model it's very simple right what i can do here so here what I will try to do is I will do console key close event. I will write it like this. And here if event dot key is equal is equal to escape. If it is an escape, then I will simply call this close model. That's it. So I will call this close model. That's it. So now if I try to see the output for this one, let's refresh this page. Fine. And I will click on the delete. Uh, and here I will press the escape. So keyboard has been uh, the pop up has been closed and also we are able to see key close event. Now let's say I am again pressing on the delete and here again I am pressing the escape escape key. If I click escape. Now if you try to see here the two times the event has been fired. So this is the problem. It should fight only once right but it has fired two times. Now let's go and click on delete again and I am pressing the escape key again. If I click here, this time three times. So that means all the times what it is happening, whenever we are trying to open the delete button, now previously three times the event has been fired, right? Now this time, if I press escape, this time four times is firing. So what is the problem here? The problem is nothing. So whenever you are trying to open this pop-up or delete model, add event listener key up has been listening. And when you close this model, that means you are destroying this component, but this add event listener will be alive like that only. And again, when you are creating a delete model, again, in another event listener is registering. So like this, it is whenever, how many times you are opening the component, those many times the event listener will be registered in the queue. So for this reason, what we need to do? So we need to remove the event listener on destroying the component. So that means on unmounting the component. What we will do is, so here, I will create a method constant handle close is equal to like this. I will do it. And here I will copy the entire code um, up to where. So here to here. Okay. I will copy the entire code and here you will get the event. And what I will do is so the entire event and everything here I will remove and I will do the handle close. That's it. Now, if I, if I implement this process, then also it will, it will work fine. Let's see whether it is working fine or not. If I click here and I'll press on the escape button. So it's working fine. Now what I will do is on unmounted on unmounted. So this is a life cycle hook. We need to import it from the view on unmounted. I will do document dot remove event listener key up of handle close. So only this event I am removing why because there will be so many key up events which will be registered right so that is the reason in order to remove the event listener only this one 
we are using this on rem uh, remove event listener now here if i refresh this page okay now if i click on this delete button and i am clicking on the escape it's working fine now again i will open the delete and now it's only one time it's firing it's fine and now here see only one time it's firing now the pro the thing what we what, what the problem we got it we have cleared it out now the another scenario which i want to do is when i open this one and if i click on the outside this background area then also this pop up has to close so for this one what we can do is we can use a third party library that is view use so this is one of the thing third party libraries which you will be having some useful methods and the plugins and all those things if you try to open this one view view use dot org let it let it open why it is taking so much of time i don't know let's open it again yeah so this is a collection of view composition utilities so whatever the utilities are there you can use it here and if i click on the get started so here we want to use the sensors in this sensors you will be able to see so many events are there here so in this one we need to have on click outside listen for the clicks outside of an element of a particular element now in order to install this one what we need to do so here we need to copy this one let's install this view use core okay fine let's go here and i will stop this and i will install this one so let it install now here the successfully the view score has been installed now what i need to do so let's rerun this uh, our server again yeah dev server now if you go into this here and for this one we need to use the sensors right let's click on the sensors on on click outside okay so for this one what we need to do we need to use on click outside method the target is nothing but the element which you want to target which i want to close it that is nothing but in our case it's a delete model and here you will be getting an event and all those things so let's try to do it and this target should be a template ref fine let's go into here so this has been started and now here in this node so in this model card so this model card whenever you uh, this needs to be closed right now here we will be adding a ref we need to target this one so we will be adding a ref other than this we need to delete model ref okay other than this so this one we uh, other than this if you click on the outside it will be closed so now here what i can do here i will use on click outside so whether it could be imported or not i don't know okay let's import this one import from edit view use core and here you will be having on click outside yeah on click outside and here first one is a target so which you want to ex exclude it so now here i will be having constant delete model ref we have created the ref right so ref of null so we need to import this ref from the view let's import this ref so ref let's import it it's taking so much of time yeah ref yeah so on click outside so delete model ref delete model ref and we will be getting the event so instead of getting the event and all those things we can call this close model directly oh sorry close model that's it i think the close model method is out and down right so we can paste it at the bottom so that you will get that close model is not defined yeah everything is working fine now if you try to see the output this time let's refresh this page yeah i have refreshed this page let's refresh this page yeah now if i click on the delete escape it's working fine and i will click on the outside it's working fine now so if i click on the outside also it's working fine see this is how we will be doing the click outside thing so you can make use of this third party library and you can use this one so i will be committing these all the things delete model hide on escape and on click outside element fine now let's commit this one in a video hyphen 92 sorry i need to create a new branch video hyphen 92 let's create a new branch yeah i am committing this all the code in this one and i will publish this branch also whoever may be having doubts in this one so they can go to my github repository url so that is the github repository link is provided in the description below 
you can take a look at that repository link and here let's see fine it's working fine so that's it that's it guys so now we have implemented these all the things right delete cancel is working delete close is working and delete escape is working and also when click on the outside also it's working fine so all the things are implemented it's time for us to delete a node so whatever the node they have clicked on now it's time for us to delete the node so let's try to do it in the next video hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you